to The Clay Studio. I am Jennifer Zwilling, the Curator of Artistic Programs, and we have been around since 1974 when we were founded by five artists who were looking for a shared studio space. We're now located in Old City, Philadelphia. We have a gallery, which you're about to see. We have a shop, a resident artist program, we teach classes, and we have a Claymobile that goes out to about 350 schools each year in our area. We welcome over 4,000 students each year in our school. We have many talented teachers, and we serve students from beginners to advanced. We have um, three kiln rooms in the building, actually. One is for our associate program, where artists come and rent studio space and use the group facilities. And we also have a robust resident artist program. That program is world-renowned. Uh, we have about 12 residents each year who come in and set down their roots in Philadelphia and really do an amazing job making work as well as teaching in our school. In our shop, we represent over 100 artists from all around North America. We do our best to represent them and we use that space as an educational space for the public. Any ceramic students in the Philadelphia area often come in and use it as a reference point. We also have an opportunity to encourage non-clay lovers to access clay by explaining to them why their lives will be made better by a handmade mug. We have two exhibits right now. One is by Lisa Naples. It's called Using the Sun to Find North. Lisa was a resident artist here at the Clay Studio about 30 years ago, and she has a robust practice up in Doylestown, Pennsylvania, where she makes work and teaches classes. And this show features two bodies of work that kind of explore her transformational process at her midlife. We have a wonderful plate series that shows the mythology of a hawk that Lisa has kind of established herself. And then there's a wonderful series of rabbits that are in motion. So the sculptures are moving through space and time. We also have George Rodriguez. His show is called La Flor, El Nicho y Sus Memorias, which means the flower, the niche, and your memories. And it's an immersive experience. You walk in and you're surrounded by over a thousand tiles that George made and you are greeted by the Aztec god of death when you walk into the gallery where you're invited to make a small offering yourself out of clay, which is provided, and leave it on the altar. Um, we'll be celebrating the Day of the Dead as a way to close that exhibition.
We are open for you to visit us here in Old City, Philadelphia for the next few months, but in the fall of 2021, we'll be moving into our new building. We're very excited that we've reached our goal for our capital campaign, and we hope that you come visit us there. If you're ever in the Philadelphia area, please do stop by.